to my channel just go with a ring today we are on a long drive oh but before we move forward and i tell you what this vlog is all about go ahead and hit subscribe okay now that you've done that you'll not miss any of my upcoming videos so today we're headed to another emirate called ras al khaimah and it is 90 minutes away from dubai last week i did a vlog about food and where and how you can have all your three meals in $20. Today is a side extension of that. Today we are going to tell you where you can find affordable alcohol. So without further ado, let's go and let's get started. All right guys, cheers. Bye. So if you're arriving in Dubai, mostly you would purchase alcohol from duty free. In case you don't do that and you miss that opportunity, there are two stores that mostly people go buy alcohol from. One of them is MMI and the other one is African Eastern. Both of these stores are located all over UAE, super famous. This is the go-to place to purchase alcohol. However, today we're headed to Wine Cellar in Ras Al Khaimah that offers good deals and affordable prices for alcohol. They have uh, beers, gin, whiskey, rum, etc. So we're just going to go over the pricing for a few of them. So for example, the sparkling wine costs about $24 for a bottle. Then there are a pack of six beers that can range from $18 to about $30. The Chardonnay from Chile is costing about $16. Then let's move to whiskey and the Glenfiddich. Uh, this is a 750ml bottle and that is about $75 and the 1 litre costs about $99 or $100. And this bottle of gin costs about $87 approximately and bottle of rum is approximately $50. So you now roughly have an idea of how much alcohol costs. We did a little quick survey about how the alcohol is priced um, out here. Uh, the wines, the beers, the rum, the whiskey, etc. So now we just headed on our way to Ras Al Khaimah and we will get there and we'll show you the difference in the prices. Wow, I just entered this place and the first wine bottle I saw in front of me was worth $5. <laughs> oh my god, I'm already loving this place. Just to quickly compare the wine we saw from Chile, it uh, costed $16 and here it is for 8 And one can of beer is for less than a dollar. Alright, heading over to the whiskey section, the Glenfiddich that we checked out and costed us about $75 for a 750ml bottle and here it is a whopping $25! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! Is anyone else shocked out of their mind? Because I am. The rum over there was $50 for one bottle. Here I'm getting two bottles for $21. I am going crazy. This is insane! 
and the gin costed us about $87 and here it is $34. I don't understand. I need to talk to the manager here to understand what is going on. Hi Vijay, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, uh, can you introduce yourself? I'm Vijay, I'm managing the operations here at the Supercellar. Last uh, one and a half years now, I'm here. You have a very big store, this is amazing. Great variety. It's all vision of Mr. Gagan Thapar. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yeah. Bars and hotels are closed. We had a uh, good inflow of customers. Okay. Over here. Okay, also, also great. But looking at the competition around, business is definitely affected. Right, right. Talking about the competition, I wanted to check, uh, I, I was just going over the pricing of your uh, alcohol yeah. and I wanted to understand how are you priced so nominally as opposed to others? As opposed to others, we, we are a new shop. Right. So we cannot advertise like just any other product. So right. we are cutting on all our margins to make prices very competitive. Excellent. Yeah. So that's how it is more that's affordable. So you run many deals I see yeah. on wines and beers and things like that. Yeah. Okay. We are, we, are, we are getting a good uh, support from our suppliers. Okay. They are promoting their products. I see. Because mostly we are purchasing from MMI and A and E. Mm -hmm. So the authenticity is 100% on the products. Yeah, that was going to be my next yeah. question about the authenticity yeah. and the quality yeah. of these. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, prices being low, people do question about the authenticity. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, there's no question about there's that. There's no question about it. 100% original. Excellent. Cheapest in the town. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time, Vijay. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Bye bye. So that explains it. Um, so since their suppliers are also MMI and African Eastern itself, there is no doubt about the originality and the authenticity. But since they support the super sellers so much with pricing and um, you know they probably sell them at a wholesale rate obviously so we at the end of it get at it get it at a very good price so yay win win all right please excuse me it's like i won a lottery or something i mean i'm non-stop someone needs to stop me take me away from the store oh my god Alright, Habi dragged me out of the store. <laughs> now we're getting back to Dubai and on my way I just want to give you a bonus tip about uh, where you can find alcohol at a nominal price. Now if you don't want to drive 90 minutes and actually purchase bottles of alcohol and you just want to have drinks you know at a nominal price you can always hit the uh, pubs and the bars there are certain hours called happy hours of course um, during the day when the drinks are priced at 30% off or 50% off even there they are literally steel deals so on your visit to Dubai I would suggest look up these happy hours at the bars around you and you will definitely find some great deals hi guys all right so I just finished shopping from the super sellers there are such huge stores of different wine cellars all over UAE not just in Ras Al Khaimah you don't have to drive 110 kilometers uh, but there are there are stores in Ajman which are just 30 kilometers 40 kilometers away from Dubai you can also go there uh, super sellers are only located in Ras Al Khaimah but there are other wine cellars which are economical as they are in other emirates and there are a few of these sellers that are owned by African Eastern or MMI themselves there is a huge difference in the way they are priced you will understand that they are probably uh, branches or owned by African Eastern or MMI that having said this was a very short and quick vlog today and I had a lot of fun shopping and a very different kind of shopping today I had a lot of fun filming of course and if you like this vlog give me a big fat thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming vlogs Alright guys, so this is me signing off. Stay well, stay safe and drink responsibly. Take care guys. Cheers. Bye. What, what, what? So the reason we are headed to Rasul Khema is because... No, the reason we are headed to Rasul Khema is... No. So the reason we are headed to Rasul Khema today is because we are headed to a store... Karam.
Last week, I did a vlog about how you can 